Some people feel a way because I got the video of Mahogany Jackson and what happened to her and I redacted it enough to where it's compliant with YouTube, where it just is age restricted. I hate when us as black people complain about things that are happening in our community, but we're never solution oriented. I need everybody. I need as many people as possible to see what happened to Mahogany. So when we see what's happening to Queen Op and Shell, what it could lead to. So that if a young girl in the neighborhood is not as confident about herself, what this could look like and what's going on behind the scenes and how she's going through peer pressure. We need to see the harm that we do to each other. We need to see how we are each other's detriment. I feel like I am the perfect person to have that video on my platform because I know the person who is speaking about it. I have family in Birmingham. I have family in Huntsville throughout Alabama. I understand the culture. I understand what it's like to be from a marginalized neighborhood on with excessive police violence so even just on a psychological level i understand all of that stuff because i'm from that area and i feel like if anybody on youtube is to create a voice of reason for everything that's happening in alabama birmingham uh tennessee violence black on black crime it's me so respectfully, uh, God chose me to host that video on my platform and God chose me to speak of the situation, not just speak about the problem, but speak about solutions on how to end it, to speak out about the psychological aspects of what we go through as black and brown people every day that lead to that type of harm that we have against each other. I'm the voice of reason for the African-American youth. I might be a goofball and crazy I'm the voice of reason and I'm going to stand on that and nobody's going to stop me. So a lot of older people who feel guilty about what happened to Mahogany Jackson because they probably participated in that type of action against someone else that's no longer here and they don't want to admit it. So they're triggered by that. That's your antidote experience. And therefore, it's a generation of curse. And I'm going to help break that one. Social issues that we as black people, the black community go through. The only thing I can do is I can deal with it on the street level. Like, I don't plan on being in politics. I don't want to do that. I don't want to play these white people game that's rigged up against us regardless, okay? But I do want to bring awareness to a lot of things that are happening. You know, Mahogany Jackson, Shanquilla Robinson, they're not the first in our community. And it's such a shame that people on the internet think that, oh, this is the first time or this is, wow, this is so fascinating, like a lot of people like to talk about these things that happen in our communities when it's hot and it's fresh and then they go to the next topic. They really don't have a sounding message. I can't stop people from, from covering whatever they want to cover and I definitely can't stop the world from happening. Another Mahogany Jackson is going to happen. It's happening all day, every day on microscopic levels. I can just bring awareness to it, hoping that people that are listening can analyze these situations in a critical mannerism to try to prevent things from happening to themselves and other people that they love. So I went on Twitter and I saw this tweet where this lady said, uh, and this was a couple of days ago, today I had to go to my daughter's school because of racism from little girls she thought was her friends. They said, let's play police and started kicking and punching my baby, leaving her to defend herself and fight all four girls while they all called the Ember and the B-Bird. So these are little girls. These are Hispanic people and they're flooding into our country and they're looking at black people um, in the shape, in the eyes of and from the likeness of police brutality. And the impression that the little people, Generation Z have, is that black people are nothing. And if we're playing police, this is how we treat them. So a lot of times when we complain about police brutality going on in our communities, we're actually propagating the fear of it instead of actually thinking about a solution to end it. Nobody wants to end it. Not, uh, uh, not the Benjamin Crumps, not the Lee Merritts, not the Tariq Nasheeds, not the Umar Johnsons. They want to find out ways so they can talk about it and form a niche market around it to continue to make as much money as possible by pandering to your emotional appeal about these things without saying, hey, we need to teach our own. We need to teach them what to do and what not to do. Uh, um, you know, it's, we're taught to fear the police. I don't have the exact answer of what she could have told her daughter to protect her daughter in that situation because I don't have any kids. But I do know that, you know, when we're talking about police and when we're talking about integration and dealing with people that are not like us, you know, it is, it's good to teach our kids the good and the bad in the situation. It's very important in this day and age that black people understand that you got to be your own best friend. You got 
sisters fighting against stepsisters. You got mother fighting against daughters. You got sons fighting against fathers. You got all of that in the black community. And the rap music supports it. Mainstream media supports it. The fear mongling supports it. We need to start teaching from a place of love and light and purity. And that goes for the parents of the Asian kids who pretended to be her friend and was not her friends, truthfully. And that particular experience, and this is why I hate when they try to like label people with psychiatric disorders. That particular experience, that girl probably now grow up so traumatized to where it would look like she's a sociopath. But there's a lot of trauma and healing that needs to take place stemming from racism. And so this whole notion that we go and code switch Instead of saying, this is who I am and this is how I lead. And I'm a whole human being to where black people can understand me. White people can understand me. People in the streets can respect me. The police can respect me. That's what it means to be an all-American. To incorporate and understand the positive and the cons of every situation in life. And continue to propagate those uh, extrinsic messages to survive and to thrive and to grow and to build into our kids. And I feel like. And I'm not questioning anybody's parenting skills, but for me to see that and read that happen to a black girl, that's just like Mahogany Jackson. Just because they're younger and just because this girl didn't die does not mean that those girls, 10 years later, they normalize treating black girls like that, even though they pretended to be this girl's friend for 10 years throughout grade school and college. They're coming and steaming from a place to where your life is so invaluable to the point to where I can just take it from you at any moment, at any second. Love yourself. And when you love yourself, don't be trying to fight for nobody else's validation, permission, and approval. Love yourself to the fullest and stop looking for other people to love you more than you. And hey, that's never going to happen. Ain't no big enough for you to stop loving yourself more than that. Ain't no heart big enough. It's you. Love yourself and attract those that love you. And be guarded with yourself. Be your own best friend. And that's the best thing to do because I know I'm my own best friend. Actually, God is my best friend.